Let's get more on this from William Luby, who is a criminal defense attorney based in Chicago. William, thanks for being with us. I'm trying to put the puzzle pieces together here, but you do this for a living, so maybe you can help us understand. Prosecutors are still saying that they believe Smollett concocted this assault. There's no detailed explanation that they gave for why they dropped the case. This is, of course, five weeks after they filed the charges and threatened to pursue Smollett for the cost of a month-long investigation. And then you have Smollett doing a victory lap, saying that he's been vindicated from all of this and he was telling the truth all along. So where do we get these 16 felonies dropped? As far as, well, obviously the state's attorneys um, agreed to drop the charges. They are the only people that can drop the charges in this manner. Um, there was obviously discussions between the defense attorneys and the state's attorneys to reach this conclusion. Uh, that's how they dealt with the parameters. I would say it's really in the nature of a deferred prosecution in the sense that they asked Mr. Smollett to give up his bond money as well as uh, do some community service hours in return for it um, to be dropped. The, the prosecution did not tell the public here, you know, that they believe that he didn't do it or that he is innocent. They're not exonerating him, but they felt that they couldn't go forward with their case. Now, the reasons why, uh, that is what we'll probably be waiting for, whether we'll get a real answer about why, uh, I don't know. Um, the mayor's office wants to know why. Uh, the mayoral um, candidates, one of them wants to know why, uh, and the other is hopeful that at some point they'll get an explanation from the state's attorney's office about why they actually did it. Um, I think that people looking at this and saying this is odd or out of the character. I mean, charges do get dismissed, but I think when you have a case that was this heated, that had this much um, public attention, national attention, um, that the speed at which this ha happened uh, and the fact that it's expunged immediately, sealed immediately, that those things are a little bit out of the ordinary. We've got to be missing something, though, because the Chicago PD are not happy about this. Mayor Rahm Emanuel has called this deal a whitewash of justice. Nobody's on the same page here. No, that is true. Um, this case is divided. Well, the state's attorney recused herself from this case. The question would be, why did her office continue to handle it if she recused herself from the case? Um, but no, no one's been on the same page. I mean, I think that uh, our city has been in a, a we've had a, a lot of disconnect between the police department, the mayor's office, the state's attorney's office over the last couple of years, certainly. Uh, this case, um, you know, doesn't have anybody being killed or any actual violent acts, um, but certainly it caught the attention of the country, and and it and it is. I think everybody's upset. Um, I think that they saw it happen that fast, and this, one of the most odd things is the superintendent of police department and the mayor's office weren't even told that this was happening. Um, that is another thing that would be unusual because normally, if you're going to drop charges. Um, and the police departments that involved in it, they're going to at least be told or consulted. And it doesn't sound like that happened at all here. So, William, you work as a criminal defense attorney in Chicago. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Well, you know, yes, there's been times where, you know, political candidates have gotten in trouble. Uh, we just had you know, a lot of times they're going to trial, um, but sometimes, sometimes not. So have I ever seen charges like this get dismissed? Yes. I mean, over 25 years and my father did it for 30 before me. 16 I mean, these felony things counts? do happen. Say that again. <laughs> 16, 16 felony, felony counts? 16 felony counts. Have you ever seen 16 felony counts dropped at one time? Uh, yes. I mean, I've seen cases that are a lot bigger than this get dropped. You don't normally get reasons why, depending on, on the case. Clearly, there hasn't been a case that's been this 
where there's been this much attention paid any time recently where it's gotten uh, thrown out like this. But, you know, they, this isn't a felony. You know, this is a low-level felony, and that's what the state's attorneys call it. And, and I would tend to agree with them, given the types of felonies that you see in the criminal courts in Chicago, the largest in the country. Um, you know, so in that sense, it's not that odd that a, that a smaller type of felony may get dropped. Like I said, what's odd about it is the speed at which it happened with the amount of attention and, you know, anger that was surrounding this case. All right. William Luby in Chicago. Appreciate you being with us.